When you switch on the QCon Pro for the first time, you get the whole motorized fader recalibration to the center thing going. And then you get prompted to select the door. Um, after a couple of seconds of making no selection, it will basically select the last door mode that you used. In my case, I'm using Cubase. Your door selection buttons are here. So that's to this side of the, the unit. We have a master fader, eight faders. Obviously, you can shift your banks which then means however many channels you have in your project, you can go from bank to bank. This is where it gets interesting. See, we have eight inputs there, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Windows XP, I'm a die hard like that. I still run off Windows XP. I have some instruments there. Okay, now I'm gonna take you over to the actual workstation now, the door, and show you some of the configurations that I made there. I'm running off of the monitoring, you know, the front panel. I'm running off of that. I'm not bothering to use all the output one and two. I'm just running because this way for me, I can control, I can control the output level using that. So I prefer to use that. Now there's a, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a, there's an application called Icon control panel. So you open that and it opens this open screen. And what I do in this is you know this is where you can set the levels for your your mixer levels, playback and your monitor mixer. So I route I basically route everything through my monitoring analog out. The analog out one or two that's essentially the headphone monitoring output that I showed you guys just before we came to the screen so I route everything through that so at any point in time you know whether we have the sound going on at the booth or I'm in the control room we can control the levels and we can hear what's going on from all the inputs so for my playback I pretty much do the same thing now the virtual one and two there that that's um that's the output one and two at the rear. Like I said, yeah, I don't really use that. Um, I just go everything from the headphones. Sound quality wise, tone wise, I think it's pretty, I quite like it. You know, if you guys are interested, I'll do a more in depth, maybe take you through a recording session utilizing Lumix whilst I'm using the QCon as my door controller as well. So now that's not bad. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open a project and then just uh, give you a playback of what we recorded using the uh, Umix uh, real quick and then that will probably just wrap up the whole presentation. So with the Kikon Pro, when you open your project, the faders, because they're motorized faders, they get calibrated to whatever your levels are on your tracks. So I'm opening a new project right there. And my display then has my readout of the different tracks that I have. I have a button over here where I can shift the display mode and it gives me the actual track titles and my panning. Now because the faders are motorized as well, it means any automation that I have on my tracks will get replicated and also I can use the faders for recording automation onto the tracks as well. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go into an in-depth demonstration right now. I just wanted to sort of give you guys a, a glimpse. This was recorded using the UMX. Raise your hands if you feel it like that. Let me flip it like that. Let me kick it like that. Go, go. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share this as well. Now, if you guys are interested in, like I said, doing a more in depth demonstration of using uh, Keycon Pro and the UMX all together, then yeah, drop a comment and let me know and I'll uh, see what I can do. Take it easy. Coming with the magic again, the mad African, the 
leave you like an addict again. We at it again. We back it again. Soon as the